Good morning. I'm on 59 North um, Fast 65 Nordic Falcon. We're here in Kinsale and this morning we're doing the engine service. First thing we do is an um, oil change and oil filter change. So what I've done earlier is I uh, started the engine, ran it for about 10-15 minutes at 1400 revs just to warm it up a little bit. Um, so the oil is nice and, and runny, it's easier to get it out. Before we start working with the engine, we should always isolate it so there's no risk that someone accidentally starts it while, while you've got your fingers in there. On Falcon, all the isolator switches are in front of the engine under the companionway steps. See, there's the engine one, which you can turn into the off position. And it's isolated and no one can start the engine anymore. Next, we got all the tools and gear out uh, for the oil change. Always have a look at your manual, check what oil you need. So the oil we use is a SAE 15W40. We also got the Beta Marine oil filters out. An oil filter wrench, a drum for old waste oil, some rubber gloves, and in our case we need an allen key to open up the top of the engine uh, which is screwed in to have access to everything. It's also a good idea to have a list of all the tools somewhere saved uh, so you don't have to find out every time you start the service. Um, I'm, I'm just starting a list now and that will go in our boat manual so whoever does the next engine service they can quickly look it up and know exactly what they need for the service. Yeah, once the top panel is removed um, as well as the side panels we have excellent access to the beta engine which can be quite rare on boats but it's a really good design. The whole box, um, the top and the sides can be removed and yeah, makes working on engines so much easier. So next step is we're gonna open the oil filler cap here. Open it up completely. And we'll put it aside. Always have a little box um, for all the parts you're taking off. Put them in a box so you don't lose them. The Beta Marine is fitted with a oil sump pump. Um, so we can pump the oil out here. It has a little, you can see, an end plug, which we're going to unscrew and take off. Next, we'll open a little tap at the bottom. Oop, there we go. Get our container out. Put it under the tap, push it in properly, and then we can start pumping. Our bitter marine takes about 11 liters of oil. I've got about 10 and a half out now, two five liter and a liter there, but that's only half full. Uh, probably the rest is in the oil filter at the moment. I like to put them into buckets just in case um, the plastic melts or something goes wrong, just as a backup. Once you've got all the oil out of the sump, close the tap again, get the little end nut, Screw it back in. Oh. A little wipe. Oh, always a good idea to have plenty of paper towel racks around. The pump um, did leak a little bit, so I put a bit of uh, paper towel around so it doesn't drip into the engine. Once we drained all the old oil out, um, we take the oil filter off. You can see I prepped it here, put the oil absorbent pad in. Um, I've got plenty of paper towel ready and already put the oil filter wrench on and next is yeah just taking it off okay here it is as you can see the oil filter is mounted almost horizontally with a slight downward tilt um, which makes it a little bit messy taking it off because then obviously the oil runs out um, so really important to have like the oil absorbent pads and um, paper towel ready and prepared and then it goes straight into a little bucket with the double up bin bags. This is our new oil filter. It's good practice just to take the rubber seal and put a bit of old 
loop oil all around, all the way around, like that. Go. And then you can go back in. And then new filter goes back in. And you screw it in just hand tight. You don't use the oil filter wrench to tension or to tighten the new filter. So last thing, we're gonna top up the oil again. I can see I put some paper towel around just in case we spill a bit. Funnel can go on. And we've got our engine oil here, which we put in now. Um, should take about 11 liters. So put in 10, turn the engine over, check the dipstick and then add a little bit more. I took the funnel out, put the lid back on and now we're going to start up the engine, run it for a few minutes and then check our dipstick. Remember to unisolate your engine again, otherwise you won't be able to start it. Once we ran the engine, we just give it a few minutes to cool down and let the oil all run back down into the sump and then we check the dipstick. So we'll take the dipstick out, wipe it clean and you can see the maximum and the minimum mark. So now that it's clean, put it back in all the way, take it out and you can see it's just above minimum. So we're gonna add a few, few more liters of oil, probably it's another liter or so. So we topped it up a little bit, pulled out again, wipe it clean. Back in all the way. And now we check and you can see it's just there under the maximum mark. Um, make sure you don't overfill your engine, that's just as bad as underfilling it. It's also a good idea to keep the old 5 litre oil drums um, that you've just used to top up the engine oil. Um, then you can use these ones for the next engine service for the old oil and you don't have to look for containers. Thank you for watching. Join us for part 2 of the series where we will show you how to change the fuel filters. If you enjoyed this film, please do like and subscribe to our channel. We would really appreciate it. If you would like to support our work, you can do so via the Super Thanks button with a one-off donation or check out our Patreon page for early access and extra content. We would love it if you would like to follow our Season Summit social media accounts as well as our personal wildlife photography accounts on Instagram. For this, check out the links in the video description.